Hello boys, my name is Kuliyoshi, and welcome back to my uh, playthrough of Live Live for Nintendo Switch. In the last episode, we left off in the near future, having done the entire uh, big tower thing or whatever that was. A couple of other stuff. And now we found out that um, an evil plan is being hatched to revive the Great Inkle Statue, at least that's what I think it's called. And the only way to stop it is with the Steel Titan, so now we're just going to try and follow them. What else are we supposed to do? <laughs> now, you can still get a couple more experience for the Fugs. In fact, we'll have to foul one here anyways, because it's right in our path, unfortunately. Ah, see, this is the one I remember now. So once you get really late onto the game, you get two different battles that can happen. Either one with these big robot dudes, or one with a different enemy. But, again, you can just punch them in the face and they go away easily. This is how we're gonna farm experience if we were to do that, although there's no reason to get any experience now, especially considering this isn't even our main file that we grinded on, so we're just gonna follow with the storyline for now. Mats was brimming with confidence, but of course in the end, he couldn't make the stale titan live so much as an inch. Poor boys run off to the bar to drown his sorrows. Oh, okay. So by Rhea's mind, we find out that they have to go somewhere else. So now we have to go to the bar instead. Actually, let's see. Maybe if we're fast, we can run. Oi, we actually did it no encounters for once. I will tell you, this place is kind of hard to not get an encounter in. It's often easier to just get one counter here. What? Come to tell me it was stupid to even try? Yeah, yeah. Tried to play the hero and ended up acting the fool. Would it be the first time? I'm not queer, Matsu. Uh, you've got a plan, I know it. Psychokinesis, huh? Maybe it's like concentrating really, really hard. Ah, damn it. Gotta be something I can do. Something I could use to get this power. What? Yeah, it would be the. F oh, there goes our um, marker again. It's not the first time that this happened. Oh, that's because upon leaving, we get more crusaders again. Oh, Fred. Oh yeah, I forgot about this part. Burn the entire house up. That's not fun. Right, I almost forgot about that. Of course, at least they're off the map now and won't be running around like they own the place, but they just uh, started to burn our beloved home that we worked so hard to protect. That's just kind of sad. We need to do something about this. No time for that. The Crusaders came and set the place ablaze. Kayako went inside to find Kaori. I'll save them. Take the others and get the hell out of here. Kaori! Kaori! Let me go! Let me go! I'm gonna get off. I'm coming. All right. <coughs> get outside. I'll find Cowrie. Go, go.
It's not in our usual room. Hot, hot, hot. Okay, we can't go there. Kind of annoying that you have to go in all these different rooms just to check out the next cutscene. Now, for some reason, it lets you uh, go in there. What's happening? Hey, Doc. I want another shot at the robot. <sighs> I really don't think there's any point in trying again. Trust me. I've got this. Just lead the way. Alright. Then, we're continuing on with this. So much matango. Eating that much will kill you. <clears throat> Whatever. Whatever it takes to control this hunk of junk. Move, <laughs> damn you. All right. It's actually moving. Great Scott! He's done it! And now we get to see a Steel Titan come up. something I've been meaning to tell you. I know I've kept you waiting in suspense. And for that I'm sorry, but... I've come to a decision at last. You have? Yes. Yes, I accept! Together forever, I swear! Oh, Neko. Oh, Yoshikaze! Oh, and just uh, just that uh, thought. Nico, come back. What about together forever? All right. Uh, didn't quite 
catch that? Alright. To stop him, I did. He devoured the prodigious supply of Matango in the hopes of amplifying his psychokinetic powers. What were you thinking? You could die. Die? Me? Don't make me laugh. I'm a man on a mission. Someone's got to command this big bastard. I'm not going anywhere till this fight's done. More cutscenes. Whoa! Where the hell were they hiding that monster? Good thing we came prepared. That's not good. Trying to stun it. Now we get to see this a little bit. No point in showing all that. Bunch of pants. There's something you ought to know, kid. About me and your dad. There was bad blood between us. Oh. Uh, that's not good. That sounds bad. Back in the day. When I still led the Crusaders. And he was heading up a riot police task force. Oh, so he was that leader of the Crusaders this whole time, back in the day. When Akira's father was, was still crazy. alive. Places all over Japan like war zones, military-grade weapons flooding the streets. Took everything I had to keep my people in line. To keep it all from going to hell. Chance to cooperate, Matsui. Army boys are tired of asking. Been too much violence already. Too many victims. It's got to stop. Still don't get it, do you? You're just another tool of oppression. And you're a naive fool if you think your gang of misfits stands a chance against trained soldiers. A 
Enough of these childish games, Matsui. It's time to grow up. Time to be a man. Since General Yamazaki's lapdog. <sighs> so be it. Didn't have to be this way, but you left me no choice. Sorry, kid. Oh, he shot him first, though. So yeah, in the end, uh, Matsui is the one who took out her father. Our own Fred took out our father, uh, Kira's father. One fraction of a second. One moment. Stretch into eternity. Yeah, so this whole time, too, was the one who uh, took out the... I knew that Akira's I could never dead. take it back. That you'd never forgive me. Matsu. Kenichi! Stay strong. You can't give up now. Don't you worry. Men like me don't die that easy. Listen up, kid. We gotta get this thing to the temple in Nippuri. And stop those bastards before it's too late. No. You're in no condition to fight. It can wait. You've done enough for one day. You need to rest. Please don't do this. Please. Enough. Sometimes you gotta own up to your mistakes. Consequences be damned. Am I... Am I right? <sighs> oh dear. It's incredible that he managed to last that long, to be honest. Kenichi! Kenichi! Honestly, he might be dead now as well. It's not un. Okay. So, but he survives. Get out. All of you. I said get out! Come on, Batsu. It's like you said, right? Men like you don't die that easy. I know you're still in there. And we've got a fight to finish! All right. I can't believe it. He's doing it! He's controlling the steel titan! Alright. <laughs> it took us only a, quite a few hours to uh, do it, but there we go. Now Akira's gonna do, try and control the it, steel titan. Straight on now. to Nikori. Alright. They think they got us beat. That it's impossible for us to win. Possible for me to don't pay.
Then nothing's impossible. And you're too stubborn to surrender! <laughs> what the heck? Did he just get the yellow hair? You know, you know, from like that Super Saiyan hair? You probably know where that comes from, right guys? Dragon Ball Z, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm kind of surprised they threw that in there just for fun. <laughs> I guess to be fair, he has the I hair after you, all, boy. but it's cool. Do your worst, for I have an army at my disposal, and they will stop at nothing to destroy you. All right. No time to look at abilities this time. The Steel Titan just has some really strong abilities that we can go through. Beyond that, yes, the game is now officially entered easy mode. Steel Titan is one of the strongest characters in the entire game. All we really have to do is use this ability, and we could take out absolutely everything. And there we go. Easy. Easy as hell. Yeah, exactly. Akira. All right. We can save in between battles, so we'll go ahead and do one just so we don't have to watch that Dane cutscene again if we were to die. Beyond that, though, we're just gonna head straight for that area like he told, like, uh, he told us to do. So, beyond that, though, we're just gonna laser everyone down. Except for a tougher opponent, which we're going to use a different ability, which is easily this character's strongest Easy ability. Alright. There is another ability you can use as well, but it's rather weak. Oh, more points. That was not much damage at all. God, demon, or whatever. You're going down. All right. What's up now? This is the weak ability I mentioned. Well, since there's only one ability and he doesn't do that much damage anyway. Look at that. That did like almost nothing. We could just bell strike him down. Punched him out of the sky. That's actually almost just as strong as his stomp ability, to be honest. Although, there he has a stomp ability that does way more damage, which is what we're gonna actually probably use. Yes, this one shots absolutely every enemy on this game. Except for, well, at least most of them that get it. They can't do much to us. It's more annoying, really, if all these hits racing time than they are dangerous. God, demon, or whatever! You're going down! Alright. Who's a badass? Alright. This the only opponent is reasonably difficult. And his name is Vengeful Dragon. We have quite a few uh, stuff that we can do. Although, the one we want to start with is Marduk's Rage, which uh, gives us uh, some potential debuffs that can happen. Huh? 
doesn't work well, but if it were to work, we could do a lot of damage. As you can see, he's more reasonable doing around 200 damage a hit versus what the other character did. Okay, that was a low amount of hits. Do this. This is probably better. Come on, Let's do this. Yeah, look at that. That's his big ability that you want to use. The stun. Yeah. Okay. And it's down. One more save just to be extra sure, although we probably not gonna need it. This is the next boss fight. As you would imagine, if our power is not going to be hard at all. But it will still be cool, that's one good thing about it. Alright. And we're here. Impossible. I sent my best against him, and still! Hmm. I pity you. Unable to comprehend the elegance of our design. The convergence of mankind. A melding of one and all. Our bodies, minds, and souls in joyous harmony. No more disparity. A world devoid of discord and strife. We need only renounce our mortal shells to embrace our destiny. Of course, I doubt you could ever understand. But no matter. While the General's minions kept you occupied, we offered up 2,000 souls. Behold the Lake of Unity! 60,000 liters of liquefacted humanity! Oh boy, that sounds kind of bad, uh, to be honest. So now we have this big bird statue to fight. Come unto us. Oh, great one. We, the faithful. We the blessed! Heed our prayers. We beseech you! <laughs> yes, yes! His advent is nigh! Look now to the statue of Inko! Rejoice! Our savior is come! Rejoice! Odeo is come! So yeah, we're gonna have to face off against this big bird statue. What is it called again? Oh yeah, the great Inko statue, but... It looks like a bird to me. Screw this. That thing's no god of mine. And I'm not melding with these freaks or anyone else. Still with me? All right. Then let's finish this, Matsu!
And we start right close to him. So, pretty much the only ability you want to do against him is just spam this over and over again. This does a lot of damage and it can also reduce his defense. If you're wondering, yes, I'm trying to manipulate Inko by doing these specific on, moves, because... That's the ability you want him to use, because uh, that kit does almost nothing, whereas that ability you saw there does a lot more. You don't want to see that ability. That movie did before at the beginning, that's his ultimate ability. Oh, this again. Okay, that didn't do as much this time. Come on, Natsu. Let's do this. Hold it. Hold it. If you get lucky, you can have his defense reduced multiple times. How about a metal boot to the head? And he's dust. That's all you do. You just spam the kick boom, and he goes down very quickly. Oh, there's still some more stuff going on. Oh, the water is coming up. The, the lake, it's... Uh, I can't get out. It's pulling me under. Save us! It's save us! No, we're not saving you. You deserve this fate that's about to happen. Bam. And they're gone. Just gone. Freaks ought to be happy. Got what they wanted in the end. What the? Hands off! Damn lake's trying to swallow us too! Shit! Okay. Shit! Are you flooded with the swearing, Mr. Akira? Alright. Alright. Of course, with that boss defeated, that's the end of the chapter. Alright. Hey, wake up! Get up already! Come on, man. You've been on break forever. You still in Taiyaki today or what? Uh, huh? Uh, yeah. Be right there. the end of this chapter. In case you couldn't tell, it was actually one of the easier chapters. If you know what to do, there's hardly any battles you actually have to do. Most of them actually being in that one tower area I mentioned earlier. 
And that boss I mentioned earlier that was supposed to be the most difficult boss in this chapter, you just punch him in the back and that's it. He just dies. So yeah, the whole chapter as a whole is really easy, which means you can do it really fast if you have grinding. You don't have to upgrade Okiora either, although I mostly did it for later. You'll see why in a minute later, but for now, yeah. Kale's got a frustrated with that kid. What's his name yet? I forgot. Already. So out of all this, apparently. Steel Titan is back underground again. That teapot again. Painting him on the head. No good reason. See you around. <laughs> and with that, that's the end of the last chapter, at least as far as the main game's concerned that we have shown on this uh, uh, on this channel. So I'll, I'll briefly show you that yes, I did have a save prepared for this on this spot right here. So, we'll be back uh, to that sooner or later.
But for now, that's the end of this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next video. I wonder what could be next. Uh, no, I'll just show you guys in the next video. Peace.